When Frost Giant Studios launched mid-pandemic, they knew they were in for an uphill battle. But these veterans of Blizzard Entertainment knew what it would take to accomplish their goal of making epic real-time strategy games once again. And after raising a whopping $34.7 million to do so, they are here today to tell us about their journey. So it is my great pleasure to welcome to X-Play and G4, the CEO and production director of Frost Giant Studios, Tim Morton. Tim, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. So in some of your press materials, it says that Stormgate honors the rich tradition of the genre's most critically acclaimed entries. What exactly inspired Frost Giant to make Stormgate? In a lot of ways, it was really the community that inspired us to do this. Um, we were at a point in our careers where we were expected to go work on other genres outside of RTS. Uh, we just really love the genre, feel very connected to the players. Um, so we decided to start a new company and build this game. Uh, a lot of your team comes and lives and breathes from the realm of, of RTS strategies, from not just Activision Blizzard, but even from Command and Conquer in, in those days. And I think it's interesting that you guys are still kind of sticking together to still pursue that idea of, of making a fun RTS, especially because it feels like RTS as a genre has this ebb and flow of of rising and rising and rising and then kind of dissipating for a little bit and then rising and rising again. So I imagine for you guys, it's it's fascinating and fun to kind of not necessarily go back to your old roots, but to really harness what made your experiences making RTS games so fun. Yeah, it's interesting that um, like from the insider perspective, seeing all of the back end data, a lot of other genres cropped up since RTS first came out and you know we've seen all kinds of like tower defense games and MOBAs and other offshoots from RTS that in a lot of cases exceeded the popularity of real-time strategy but the truth is the audience for real-time strategy has been really steady um, and so there's just this amazingly passionate group of people who spend their time playing RTS and watching esports and so I think for us we love playing this genre as much as we enjoy working on RTS games. Um, so yeah, just having the opportunity to stay connected with all of those players and also to continue to make the kind of games that we love. I'm happy for you guys and your team because you get to still explore the passion that brought you into the games industry. That's so fun. What is going to set Stormgate apart from, from the titles that we just talked about, whether your inspirations, stuff you guys used to work on, like what makes Stormgate different from what you guys are, are hoping to do? The last games that we worked on were built in an era where you do a bunch of work, you put it in a box, and then you move on to the next expansion or you move on to the next completely new game that you're gonna build. And there's just years between sharing that work with players. This is the first time that an RTS has been built with continuous content delivery in mind. So we're gonna be free to play and we've literally planned out years of content. Um, so it's very much gonna be a living, breathing, evolving game. I guess the idea is you want the game to evolve with, with community feedback, with with tournament play, with esports and competitive play. That's gotta be a, a really reassuring thing that, hey, what we're building may not be finite, but there's a groundwork to improve and to keep growing from there. Yeah, and we're already in a really great dialogue with the community uh, on our Reddit channel, just getting feedback around various design topics as we've built the game. Uh, and we wanna keep that back and forth up as we continue to develop. It's so critical for us to be able to hear from players who already have spent years of their lives playing RTS games who have really valuable opinions about what they like and what they don't like. So Stormgate is running on what you call a, a customed uh, developed simulation technology uh, named Snowplay. Uh, what can you tell us about it and what is the development process uh, for Snowplay for you guys? RTS is the only genre I can think of that requires hundreds, sometimes thousands of units to be synchronized over a network across multiple machines. All those units have to be really responsive for local players when they click and issue commands. They have to pathfind successfully like through each other and around all the obstructions in the terrain. It's tremendously complicated to do that. It's not something that just comes out of the box with a game engine. We are super fortunate to have our chief architect who did all of that work at Blizzard on StarCraft II and he's got a chance now to build something even better for Stormgate. It's so exciting just because it feels like you guys are really gonna be able to make the thing that you're passionate about. That's my favorite thing is seeing developers team up and, and go, hey, we're gonna make the thing that 
we love so much. And it seems like that's what you guys are all bringing to the table. It's a mission for us. It's not a job. Like we're just uh, on a quest to take this genre that we love and be able to both renew it, but also bring it to a bigger and newer audience. So you're emphasizing social and cooperative play with Stormgate. What about the game is emphasizing that and and even leaning into that aspect of, of social and cooperative? Yeah, I would say historically that RTS has been kind of a solitary experience. Like you're by yourself playing a campaign, you're playing 1v1 against an opponent, but you're not building the kinds of social connections that I think players have come to enjoy building in other kinds of games. And so we're thinking about social connectivity in every aspect of our game. You can onboard into the game socially. You can play the campaigns cooperatively. Uh, our open-ended co-op mode supports three players, which is more than we supported in StarCraft II. And even for 1v1 competitive, the tournament system that we're building into the game creates a sense of community and an ability to have just social connectivity with other players. You'd imagine that in today's world that the, the emphasis of growing a game from the ground up in the RTS genre would be uh, focusing on online play in the essence of huge 4v4 or, or you know, gimmicky-esque tower defense type mapping and things like that. But in your case, you guys said, hey, we're going to we're going to make it more about that social experience, about how you can play the main campaign with up to three people. Hearing that is, is really exciting because I love specifically in, in, in Brood War or even the later editions of the StarCraft expansion. I think in the in the um, the last expansion, you could split into a team of people but control the same base and, and divide and conquer units and, and resources accordingly. So the fact that you guys said, hey, not only can you do it with two people, you can now do it with three. Uh, I think is a challenge in itself. So I wish you guys luck because that that, that can't be easy, but it's also gonna be very exciting to, to play with the idea of it and really flesh it out. Yeah, one of the things that got added uh, with the last expansion to StarCraft II Legacy of the Void was this cooperative mode where each player in the co-op mode gets to pick their own hero. So kind of different expressions of gameplay style, there's leveling of those heroes. So it's really an open-ended mode um, and there's an opportunity for us to continue to release new heroes as well, so new gameplay styles can continue to come out. Um, I think by making it three players, it just expands how much social connection you can form while you're playing that mode, but it also really opens up new opportunities on the maps. Just uh, the map design to support three bases is totally different, obviously, than the map design for two. So what single aspect of Stormgate are you personally most excited about for players who are gonna be playing this for the first time to experience? It's so hard to pick just one thing. Uh, it's like we've got the integrated esports, we've got all the new social features, but I, I think maybe the thing that stands out to me is just building a brand new game universe. Um, working with some really talented writers, we're creating new character stories, and we're just planning out years of story arc, um, and that's woven into every mode of the game. So it doesn't matter if you're a campaign player, if you're a co-op player, if you're a competitive player, like this will have impact on you and impact on the units that you get to play with, the races that you encounter as you play the game. Um, so yeah, really excited to get that out there and, and see how players like it. And how long have you been working on this particular project with your team so far? So far, we are about two years in, um, and we still have quite a bit of development ahead, but um, yeah, that feedback loop with the community has been so valuable. We want to continue to keep them involved even ahead of where we start closed testing. It's got to feel good to finally be able to share the world Stormgate uh, on, on such a large stage with Summer Games Fest right now. That's got to be so, so rewarding for you and your team. Definitely. Yeah, we're really grateful to Jeff Keeley and the Summer Game Fest folks for letting us be part of that. Um, and it's a big moment for us to finally be able to talk about what we're building. We've had to be kind of, uh, you know, closed about sharing it up to this point, but now we can really engage and get more feedback. Thank you so much everyone at home for joining us. Uh, I know you're super excited to share this with the world, Tim, and thank you again for joining here. And the world is eager to play it. Stormgate will be available via Steam on PC at release, but if you visit playstormgate.com, you can sign up for the closed beta uh, test taking place around uh, 2023. Tim, once again, thank you for joining us. Thanks so much for having me.